All right, Jeff, just wanted to get your thoughts on something that happened this weekend, really inspirational story. Uh, 62-year-old uh, Mickey Rourke returned to action after a 20-year absence, knocked out his opponent who was less than half of his age. Uh, just your thoughts on, on how that went down and what you thought about his performance. Well, I mean, his performance was great, just like his acting, because that's what he was doing in boxing, too, acting, acting like a boxer. Well, that's the one thing, you know, some people had said maybe they thought the fight was, was not on the up and up. Is that the same thing you're kind of getting at? No, the fight wasn't on the up and up. I mean, all of his fights have been pretty much paid fights. Oh, come on, Jeff, you can't say that. Why, you can't you get the guy credit? Hmm? You can't get the guy credit for uh, walking into the ring after all those years and, and putting him in performance? I can give him credit, but I can give him credit for acting, because that's what he does, and that's what he did in his fight. Well, you know, you... So you're pretty sure these, I mean, obviously it looked very questionable. You have no doubt in your mind? I have no doubt at all. Why is that? Because I know someone who fought them. Oh, and you're saying that they took a dive? Yeah, I know they took a dive. What, what are your thoughts on something like that when, when that happens? Does that piss you off, you know, being, being someone has been in sport this long? Does it really make you mad that, that people do that? You kind of laugh it off and say, well, you know, no one took them seriously anyway? Well, it doesn't mean anything. I mean... Who, who really cares about Mickey Rourke doing anything in boxing? I mean, especially at 62 years old. I mean, I mean, it's, it's great for him to pat himself on the back and feel good about himself. So that's uh, fine. But I mean, realistically, nobody cares about him in boxing. I mean, he has no he has no status in boxing at all. But when stuff like that happens, it, it lends people, other people, especially those that may be looking from the outside who don't really follow boxing, say, "Oh yeah, well, I see boxing is always fixed anyway." So then, you know, maybe other fights that are on the up and up people might think, think those are fixed too, so that still doesn't bother you? No, I don't think so. I mean, because, I mean, real fights, I mean, people know. People know when they see real fights. I mean, you turn on Showtime, you turn on HBO, you're going to see some real fights. ESPN, you're going to see real fights. I mean, something where anytime there's probably an actor involved, chances are it's probably going to be fixed. So at this point, right now, you know, just just seeing him perform there, you, you fought him... In a month, who wins? Jeff Mayweather or Mickey Rourke? I can I can take 20, 20, 29 years off and beat Mickey Rourke. I can take a hundred years off and beat Mickey Rourke. Could you have taken that body shot that that finished the fight? That probably couldn't if they paid me enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dominating victory. Got a quick knockout of a guy less than half of his age. Thoughts on 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 uh, someone like that coming out and and performing on that well at sixty two. That motherfucker a beast. What? Yeah. That motherfucker a beast. Who wants to work? I don't. I don't want to see him. I don't want old people coming back, baby, with a vengeance. And I don't want no parts of it. 60 is the new 20, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, a lot of people think that fight was fixed. Does that piss you off? Seems like everyone else seems to be okay with it. Does that piss you off that perhaps that fight was fixed and, and maybe that gives it the score of black eye? I don't eye? know nothing about that. I know he got the win. You know what I'm saying? I, I seen what I saw, what I saw and shit. Fixed or not? came true. Dream came true. I mean, fixed or not, I mean, he did his yeah. thing. Let me say, and, and fixed or not, you've seen Linnell drop by, by lesser shots than that, right? I mean, at the end of the day, man. You're going to have to deal with Linnell after the game. <laughs> really? So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to say about that. Fuck around. I hit him across this gym. He video recording myself. Like, hey, man. Got yeah. a knockout. Yeah. Um, you know, you're a fighter yourself. Not undefeated like him, though. So, what were your, what were your thoughts on that, on that performance? And glad how inspirational was that at his age? Glad to see somebody, you know, do something that they always wanted to do. <laughs> Whatever people say behind it, it was something. It was a good story. You know what I mean? It was something good. And I'm happy he did it. I mean, hey, he's undefeated. As a fighter, and especially you know a sport that gets a black eye a lot for people saying that there's a lot of fixed fights. Obviously, people are saying this was perhaps not on the up and up. Uh, that doesn't piss you off at all. Um, it don't really piss me off, man. I mean, like I said, man, it was it was a moment to make somebody's dream come true, and it happened. You know what I mean? Uh, don't be a, such an asshole about everything. You know what I mean? I mean, shit. If it was fixed, then it was fixed. Could you like, handle that body shot that finished the fight? <laughs> probably not. Uh, not. Well, you know what? Whether it was fixed or not, it, it makes a circus out of the sport. You know, I mean, I made a movie with Robert De Niro called Raging Bull. He won an Oscar. I didn't, never said I was an actor. So I left. So who do you got, Robert De Niro or, uh, or uh, Mickey Rourke? Oh, uh, De Niro by a knockout. Yeah. Um, 
let me ask you, because Mickey Rourke being an actor, a lot of people didn't get to, don't, aren't exposed to boxing. They might have watched it just through that. So is that something that you really don't like, that, that people who might get their first look at boxing see it? Well, listen, if you're going to be a fighter, fight a real fighter. Don't fight a guy that a homeless person. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't disgrace the sport. That's all I'm saying. Let me ask you this. I mean, obviously, it's gone on in, in uh, throughout history. There's been fixed fights forever. How often do you think it happens? Does it happen as often as people think? Or do you think it's, it's you know... No, it's a once-in-a-while situation because the uh, commissions that we have in the United States will never let that happen. Have you ever had anyone approach you, either when you were fighting or for one of your fighters, to, to see if you would uh, to gauge your interest in doing something like that? Not at all, because I did know right away that that's not my forte. You know, you know that's why they have a referee. I'll take you to rest. No problem. So, in Russia. Well, I'm looking for it. I mean, at 60 years old. Of course, anybody can still throw punches like that at 62 years old. You gotta respect him. Uh, but you gotta be for somebody that, that looked like he never fought a day in his life, but he won. He's, um, he's confirmed that the other guy that, that he was paid, you know, not to win the fight. So, you know, you've been around the sport for a long time. What do you think when you see someone like that that's willing to uh, do something like that and pop, possibly get the sport a black eye? I think it's terrible. I think um, if they couldn't have got him a viable opponent that could beat him or he could beat where it was even, then they shouldn't do it. Someone about the same age bracket, hopefully in the 60 or 50, it would have been more, more interesting. But to do it like that is a black guy to the game. Let me ask you this. You know, a lot of people have always said that, you know, that this has been, well, it has been around forever, but how prevalent is it in the sport? I mean, do you think it's, it's, as often as many people think, or you think it's, it's a very rare thing when something like that happens? It's, to me, it's very rare. I just think that, you know, it's around, but it's not done a lot because I think, you know, the eyes, people are watching out for those type of things. And I, you know, I don't, I don't, I, they shouldn't have had the fight if it wasn't a, a, a fight where either fighter can win. Was there ever a time when you either amateur or pro career that someone offered you a deal one way or the other? No, 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 no. Never. Would you have uh, ever considered something like that? <laughs> I, I got always know that I won correctly. I lost. I won or lost honestly. But no one even ever came and offered you. I mean, not that you, you accepted it, but no. All right, buddy. appreciate it. It's on, on that fight, how that all went down. I mean, I think uh, if he wants to relive a dream, and uh, the commission allows it, and everything went well, I think it's a win. <laughs> Call it a W. Uh, if he still got paid for it, I, that is a W. Well, it's pretty, much, it's been, of, it's pretty much been confirmed it's fixed by at this point. So. Yeah, I, we, we, we can tell. <laughs> what, what do you guys think about that? Does that piss you off, though, that someone would do that? Because it kind of gives a black out of the sport in the eyes of a lot of people. Uh, I mean, it, it's been in the sport longer than we were around. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just something that, you know, it's normal almost. <laughs> so, I mean, yes, yeah, I think it's kind of uh, bad for the sport, but I mean, it happens. I mean, he's 56. I mean, who else are you going to get? You got to find somebody. Right, right, right. Keith, how much does it take for you to take a dive? <laughs> if that, I don't know if I could. You don't want to answer, but there's a price for everything. Right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, You're not gonna you know, shout out. You, you know anybody? You know what I'm saying? Got the money? <laughs> I'm dive taking. So you're for sale too, huh? <laughs> I'm dive taking. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he won the fight by by second round stoppage. Congratulations. Um. Congratulations. That's all I can really say. You think it was legit? In all honesty, I don't think so. But you know, I, you know, it's not my position to really say. It seemed a little um, fixed. But congratulations to him. Hopefully, we don't lose the integrity of this boxing sport and do and do gimmick things, make the fights real, and leave it where it needs to be. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. You know, you're you're a guy such a traditionalist in all sports, whether it be MMA, uh, you know, martial arts in general, boxing. Do you like to see stuff like this, or do you think it gives a black eye to the sport, especially when casual observers who might have tuned in because they know him from acting might have been watching? Um. If the fights are real, it can never be a black eye. But if they're fixed, if they're scripted, of course it's a black eye. Because we don't want people to think just anyone can get in the ring. Actors, 
rappers, singers, ballerinas. You're, you're you know. a singer. Yeah, yeah, but I, I was a fighter first. <laughs> um, so as long as the fights are authentically real, then great. But remember, it takes a certain person to get in the ring. And, and if you get into the ring knowing that the guy's going to take a fall, you're not really, it, it, it really is a black eye on, on what this is about. We get in the ring not knowing what's going to happen. Sp spontaneous combustion. One night may be your night, the next night may not be your night. But that's what's so compelling about this sport. So fixed spice and stuff like that, definitely a no.